Hello guys, this is Justin Farley. I uh, decided I'm going to go ahead and make a tutorial today on how to move your clothing with your armature as well as your mesh. Uh, in Blender 2.78, you have to do it a little different. In the older versions of Blender, I guess, uh, they had different ways of doing it, like I guess simpler. But this is pretty much simple as well once you get the idea. Basically, what we're going to do is, okay, first off I'm going to go into pose mode. Uh, I'm going to click the bones, and okay, we're in pose mode. Now, what I'm going to show you, because there's nothing set up just yet, but this is what we don't want to happen. So I'm going to go ahead and rotate on the x-axis. And as you see, the mesh pops out of the shirt, which we do not want that. We want the shirt to move along with the mesh as well as the bones. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into object mode. We go ahead and click object mode. And we're going to click the shirt. Now we're going to go over to the modifiers tab because we need to add a modifier to this because right now it has nothing. Make sure though in the vertex groups right here that there's nothing in there. Now if you set something up in the past or something like that or somehow uh, information got transferred into there, you need to go ahead and remove that because if you don't then it conflicts with the uh, the bones and the mesh I guess. But anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, and we already did, we clicked on the shirt, and we're going to go ahead and go into the modifiers tab, and then we're going to hit data transfer. Okay, now what this does is what we did, or what we're going to do is we're going to copy the information from the bones, well actually from the mesh that already has the information from the bones and we're going to copy it to the shirt. Now how we accomplish this is we go ahead and see source object, we click on the source object, we hit female main mesh. Okay, now that's all the information of the bones. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into, we're going to check vertex data. Okay, and we're going to check vertex groups. Now the rest of this stuff I really don't know what all that means but basically this is what I know as far as moving this shirt so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hit generate data layers okay so we hit that now having done all that we should oh I'm sorry uh, not yet um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take and click on the mesh and we're going to go to the female main mesh now what we want to do is we want to take this and restrict it. That way we don't accidentally click on the mesh while we're trying to click on the shirt and the bones. Ali Rango uh, taught me how to do that. Very good, very good per uh, ex ah god, <laughs> very good person as far as tutorials go. I'll go ahead and leave a link <clears throat> in my descriptions. That way you can follow along with him. Uh, most of the stuff that I've created was from him as far as the uh, the female mesh that you see now. Uh, I followed along with his tutorial and I came up with this. But anyway, let's get back to the situation at hand. So right now, what we've done is we went ahead and we uh, took and restricted that. So now, again, we can't click on it accidentally. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the shirt, which is the child, and we're going to hit the bone, uh, shift, uh, right mouse click, and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit control P. Now, object, we don't need that. Uh, object, keep transform, don't need that. Armature, deform, don't need that. We want to click with empty groups. So once we click that, now, remember, all this information that we took from uh, this information from the, uh, the mesh itself, the, the main mesh, just transferred over to the shirt. Now, we didn't have anything in this, and now when we go into the vertex uh, type of active data 
to display and whatever. Anyway, so we're going to click that, and then there you see now we have all the information for that, which allows this shirt to move along with the bones and the mesh. I know it's a lot. I, I really don't need to explain all that like that. But anyway, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into pose mode. Uh, we're going to go ahead and hit our uh, number pad 3. So we're looking from the right view. And we're going to take and we're going to rotate on the x-axis. Rotate on the x-axis. Okay. Now... The shirt is moving along. We're going to go ahead and hit the number one on the number pad. Now we're in front view. Okay, and now we're going to rotate again on the X axis. Okay, see now the shirt's moving with it. Great, that's awesome. You know, but okay, here comes the problem. Let's go ahead and rotate on the Y axis. You see how that shirt just popped out? It's not following the mesh. Now the reason for that is because of this. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on the shirt again. We will go into object mode. We will go back to the modifiers tab. Now I have the subsurf modifier which is at the top. Okay, we got the data transfer and we got mix uh, armatures which we don't mess with any of that. We don't need to know any of that. Basically what we want to do is take this transfer data and bring it up above the subsurf modifier so that way it's the main thing now all we have to do in order to fix this problem where the shirt busted out is to hit a apply so we're going to apply that modifier now that that modifier is now applied okay now we're going to hit the bones again and we're going to take and rotate on the y-axis again now as you see the shirt is not popped out it's a real simple fix. That's all we had to do. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate on the x-axis. As you see, the shirt is not popping out. She's not popping out. Mesh is not popping out. Everything is working great. Uh, there may be a little bit of things you have to fix as far as uh, the mesh popping out or whatever. But, you know, that's with the weight paint. And that's a whole different tutorial that somebody else, I'm sure, will do. But anyway, that is my tutorial on how to move your clothing in Blender 2.78. Thank you. Have a nice day.